Hi, my name's Ken. I'm the HVAC expert for eComfort. So today we're going to be looking at my pick for the best single zone mini split and a couple of runner ups. There are a ton of options out there for single zone mini splits. This video is going to help you pick the best option for your home or business. Let's get started. Whether you're looking to add cooling or heating to a single room, like a garage, maybe an office, maybe there's an addition to your home, maybe you converted a attic space into living space, that's where you would wanna use a mini split system that's single zone. So in a situation where you've got one room in the house where it does have heating and cooling, but it's just not enough, a single zone mini split is a really good option for that. Mini split systems are a much better option than like a window unit or a through the wall unit, or even like a PTAC unit, because they're much more efficient, they're whisper quiet, and for a technician, they're a lot easier to install than some of the systems that are out there. Overall, mini splits are the sweet spot for performance and efficiency, and they're really easy for you to use once they're installed. I made these picks for a single zone mini split based on several key factors. The first of these factors is efficiency. Mini split systems are some of the most efficient options on the market. However, there is a big difference in efficiency between some of these systems. So when we're talking about efficiency, we gotta talk about a few acronyms here. First one is gonna be SEER2, Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. Basically, the higher that number is when you're running the cooling, the lower your electric bill is. So you want a high number. When we're talking about heating, that's gonna be HSPF2, Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. Again, the higher that number, the lower your electric bill. So less common, but equally as important, is EER2, Energy Efficiency Ratio. This is the number that's gonna come into play when you're picking a system for like a server room that's gonna have year-round cooling. So energy efficiency is one of the first things we consider because a really efficient system can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the lifetime of the system. So not only are you saving money on your electric bill, but a lot of energy providers offer rebates for highly efficient systems. One of the easiest ways to make sure the system you're getting is a high efficiency single zone mini split system is to check if they're Energy Star certified. All three of the ones we're talking about today are. A lot of people out there don't realize that mini split systems do both heating and cooling, but there are some that are designed for cold weather climates. We look at low ambient heating systems because they tend to be the more efficient ones as well. That's why we consider low ambient heating when we're picking our best single zone mini split system. So the next factor we look at is control options. Some systems just do a really good job of heating and cooling, but they're more basic. They've got a handheld controller. You can use like a wall mounted thermostat, but the really good systems have the option of Wi-Fi. Some of them even have it built in. So on a lot of the calls I get, customers are looking for Wi-Fi as an option. Wi-Fi allows you to make changes to your system anywhere in the world, which is why we consider it one of the most important control options. Finally, we consider features that make life easier, like sensors that know whether or not you're in the room or having the ability to control where the air is gonna go, or features like jet control that can either cool or heat a room very quickly. The reason we're looking at these features is because it makes your life easier and more comfortable. All right, let's take a look at our picks for the best single zone mini split system. So before we talk about our number one pick, we've got a couple runner ups to talk about. The first one is gonna be the Durastar Sirius Heat mini split system. I really like the Durastar systems. For one, they've got the easiest warranty for the customer. You don't have to register the system. Your proof of purchase is all you need for the 10 year parts warranty. One of the reasons this Durastar system is a contender is because the serious heat technology allows it to operate all the way down to negative 22 degrees. It will give you full heat down to zero. It is pretty rare for mini split systems to be able to operate down to negative 22 degrees. Most low ambient heat models are only rated down to negative 13 degrees, which is pretty good, but the serious heat model goes even lower. And out of the three systems we're looking at today, this one can operate at the lowest temperature. So another distinguishing feature for the Durastar system is that the remote has follow me technology. What that means is that it can read the room from the remote. The reason being able to read the temperature from the remote is such a good feature is you could put that at the end of a large room, it's gonna keep conditioning until it gets to your desired temperature. Only when it gets to that controller. So you're gonna have more cool air, more hot air in the room. One of the reasons we didn't pick this system for our number one mini split here is because it doesn't have the option of Wi-Fi. If you're a customer that wants Wi-Fi, wants to be able to use this system from anywhere in the world, really, it's not gonna be the one you wanna go with. But if you don't care about Wi-Fi and you want a system that can handle really cold temperatures and is efficient, this is a really good option. 
The other strong contender that we considered for the best single zone mini split system was the Mitsubishi H2i Plus. One of the distinguishing features of this system is the IC sensor. It knows intelligently if people are in the room or if the family pet is in the room. So why does that matter? Well, if you have an empty room or a room where the family pet's in there, it's gonna be running at a more economical mode that's gonna be better on your bills, your electrical bill. However, when you enter the room, the IC sensor is going to adjust the temperatures to the comfort level that you set. It's gonna optimize for your comfort. Another reason that we were looking at this model is because it has a replaceable allergy filter in the wall-mounted air handler. This is gonna be extremely helpful for people who have allergies, pets with dander in the air from pets. This allergy filter allows you to breathe cleaner air while you're in the room. Another reason why we were looking at the H2i Plus is because it is rated down to negative 13 degrees, but it'll give you 100% heating power down to negative five degrees. So if you wanna to be totally comfortable in your four season room in the dead of winter reading a book, this is the system for you. One of the reasons the H2i Plus was not our number one pick is because even though you can get Wi-Fi, it's accomplished by a Kumo Cloud adapter, which is an added accessory that needs to be installed by a certified technician. You have to pay a premium to get that accessory, the Kumo Cloud adapter, and then you have to also pay your installer to install it. So even though the H2i Plus has the highest SEER rating, you are paying a premium for comparable features and it's not out of the box Wi-Fi ready. Which brings me to our winning pick, the LG Art Cool Premier. The reason we picked the LG is because it checks off all of the boxes. It has great efficiency ratings, it's competitively priced, it has built-in Wi-Fi right out of the box and it has all the other features that customers are looking for. Jet temperature control, so it can heat or cool a room very quickly. It has sleep mode, which will efficiently change the temperature automatically late at night, which will be better for your bills. And it has vane control, so you can control where the airflow is going. So together, all of these features maximize efficiency, value, and comfort. So maybe you have a large room that needs heating and cooling. Maybe a single zone system is just not gonna be the right system for the room. Take a look at multi-zone systems. Overall, mini split systems are a great way to heat and cool a room. They're efficient, they're whisper quiet, and they have a sleek design. Remember, all of the units we were talking about today were 9,000 BTU units, which are meant for smaller rooms. You can get larger systems that have all the same features and benefits for larger rooms. I can't stress the importance enough of making sure the system is sized correctly for the space that it's cooling and heating. If it's oversized, you could have issues like short cycling. You could have issues where it doesn't take the humidity out of the air and the cooling, and they end up getting mold issues on the indoor unit. When it's sized correctly, it takes the humidity out of the air, it's whisper quiet, it's super efficient. We have a really good tool on our website called the Mini Split and HVAC Sizing Calculator. It takes into account the levels of insulation, uh, square footage, the types of windows you have, the temperature data from your zip code. It's extremely accurate and I highly recommend you use it. Easy way to get to it, we have it linked in our description. So we hope that after watching this video, you have a better idea of what single zone mini split system will work for you. But if you have questions, give us a call. Please like this video if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again for watching.